All right, we're coming into the upper resort area. Um, so you see some trailers back in there. Let's, let's say, here's some campsites, but just beyond the fence is a grassy area. There's a dog park up past those picnic tables, that fenced area. There's a tennis court beyond. And otherwise, it's just a common area, this grassy area you see there. There's no covered picnic shelter or anything, but we could congregate there. We'd be right behind these campers that are right where I'm sitting. So it's not too far off. We'll see what the lake looks like. Doggies getting walked. Looks like a little cabin there. I'm not sure if that's a rentable cabin or some sort of central thing. All right, so it's fairly well occupied. Um, looks like a pull-through site off to my side here, but it's not. Yeah, you could probably get your 42 footer in there. Yeah, these are pull through off to the right. That's a pretty big one there. Um, overhead clearance looks okay, like they're planning on tall rigs coming in here. Fifth wheels with parking. They do allow tents on these sites, if you have room, of course. So all of these sites are technically, there's one there. Are, well, that's more of a, a day canopy, I think. But they're technically combo sites, RV and tent. There's only four tent only sites, so um, it's nice to have the combo. Not sure how many they have that could handle a 42 footer. I'll ask that up front. Uh, it's pleasant enough. Um, all the areas are graveled, so they don't have grass. Now ahead is, is another common area. Playground, picnic. There's a volleyball court in there just like there was at the uh, Whistler site. And there's two cabins I'm going by here. Three cabins. I think they're going to get a couple more cabins fixed up here. There's the volleyball area. There's the cabins. You probably didn't see them as I was turning the car the other way. And there's some restrooms. Um, I'm not sure what all, they may be showers and stuff too. So this is the upper resort. This is not next to the lake. It's uh, not too far away. So I'm going to leave this site. This is the back entrance. We came in by the office. We're coming out the back. Now what you see off to the right is a mobile home park. So that separates the two resort sites. You can see way ahead a little there's the lake up ahead, that little sliver. So here we're coming into the lower site. 
and we'll get out and walk around. Uh, it's kind of ditto the first site. Um, let's let's go back. There's a couple more cabins over there. This looks like another restroom, probably showers and stuff. Okay, so there's four cabins in a row. So where are we? Look at my map here. Okay. I think back in here are the tent sites back where you see those fences um, and tables. There's just four tent sites here. Here's the common area back here. It's not grassy, it's bark covered for playground. This is for kids all right so when this gets filled up which probably would be next summer um, you're gonna have close by neighbors but fairly typical for these types of things I think <laughs> like I'd know all right let's get up by the lake and take a walk down there so here's the beach and the lake it's um, sandy, uh, some rocks. It looks fine, barefoot. Got some warm weather. You can see a sunbather there. That fence, I think, separates us from the beach, the lake frontage for the mobile home park. And, and beyond there is the lodge. I'm guessing we'll go see that in a bit. Um... There's the, the cliff that overlooks this area. It's way up there. I think I looked, it's about 1,200 feet of vertical. And that's a row of four cabins we saw in the other, other segment. So it's not bad. Um, they've got a nice swimming raft out there. Um, yeah, probably bring non-motorized craft, uh, paddle boards and stuff. Water looks nice and clear. I can see the bottom 20 feet out before it gets deep enough and dark enough. 